Looking to hire a boat? Farewell. I don't like taking orders from a boy, but I need the gold. I plan to spend all the days I got left on the water. It's where I belong. Everyone thinks I'm too young to be a ship's captain, but I'm going to prove them wrong. By inheritance, as my men are fond of saying, can't blame them. My mother ran the sea squall as strictly as she ran the house. I've been trying to find new areas of business, trying to win the sailors' respect, but I keep having problems. Take the last trade we did. Some fine cut void salts from the College of Winterhold. Plenty of coin if you know who to sell it to. Sailors are what happened to them. They got drunk and ended up losing the merchandise in some cave. If you're not afraid of a little exploring, I'll pay good gold to get those salts. All right then. I'm tired. Divines, I'm tired. I've been in charge of Dawnstar for over 35 years. Unless you're here to solve this nightmare problem, I don't need you. The only reason dragons are attacking is because Talos is angry with us for turning our backs on him. As soon as we drive the Empire out of Skyrim, the dragons will vanish. Mark my words. Oh, the Stormcloaks are destined to win this fight. Talos is with us, and when you fight under a Divine's blessing, <laughs> victory is assured. Dawnstar has a history of being the site of battles that have crippled the fate of the Empire. <laughs> I hope this remains true. Don't bother me again unless it's important. The Jarl is tired. Be mindful of that. No Empire is going to take the Jarl ship away from this son of Skyrim. Sorry, gotta run!
band in that stinking jail. I'd rather die than give myself up. Never should have come on. <laughs> Night Mother is mother to all. It is her voice we follow, her will. Would you dare risk disobedience? And surely, punishment? Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. Oh, be quiet, you great lumbering lapdog. The man has had a long journey. You can at least be civil. Mr. Cicero, I, for one, and delighted you and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are! Sure to earn our lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as Keeper. Understood, husband? Her. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! But make no mistake. I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress! Perfectly! You're the boss! Ah, there you are. Good. I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. We've got some business to discuss. I do indeed. You must go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the hag's cure when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth, wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the Black Sacrament. Her name is Muiri. 
I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. What? Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be professional, represent us well, and get the job done. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. Wait! Oh, wait! I know you. Yes. Yes! From the road, Cicero never forgets a face. I am! I am! But not just my mother, our mother. Hmm? The Night Mother. Oh, yes. Oh, but you didn't help poor Cicero. You helped the stupid farmer, stupid Lorius. Oh, the gods said cruel things about us, untrue things. He said I stole something. Me, poor Cicero. A common thief. The very thought is insulting. One might even say maddening. Someone lied! Someone told the guard poor Cicero did something he did not! Were detained, delayed, the Night Mother kept from her new home. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Hmm? No, no, of course not! Because then Cicero would get angry, and that would be... ugly. Now, Lorius, Lorius has learned the meaning of ugly. The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was desecrated. The Imperial province is ravaged by strife. Nowhere there is safe at present. So Cicero brought Our Lady to her new home. Here, this is the only sanctuary left in all of Skyrim, you see. Such was my honor as keeper. Oh, what? Who is the Night Mother? Oh, oh, oh you jest. <laughs> you jest with gullible Cicero. <laughs> you, of course, know that the Night Mother is our unholy matron. The undying spirit of a great woman who birthed the children of Sithis. And killed them <laughs> in his honor. Me? Oh, Cicero is just the keeper. I keep. Look after our matron, you see, the Night Mother. I keep her clean and protected and <laughs> happy. But I am not the listener. Oh, no. There is no listener. Not yet. But someday, 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 I pray that one will come to hear her say the word. <laughs> hmm. That's like telling you about the cold of space or terror of midnight. Sithis is all those things. He is the void. Oh, yes, mistress. You're the boss. For now.
you reek of death, my friend. I salute you. Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. You are truly an opponent to be feared. Here's your payment. Of course she is. I hear the mining business is extremely cutthroat. And those hours, the murder. I could do this all day. Here's your payment. Good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. Those splinters and rusty nails can be quite nasty. Your payment for a job well done. I'm sorry I don't. Come see me again later.
We're one of the same. If that is what you wish.
Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. If you think you've got what it takes, our headquarters is in solitude. I have nothing to say to you. Now move along, or I'll order my guards to attack. You speak to a Vigilant of Stendar. Cavort with any Daedra, and we will hunt you down. Yes. Our Order was founded after the Oblivion Crisis. We dedicate our lives to facing the threat of Daedra wherever they appear. We're quartered in the Hall of the Vigilant. Keeper Carset heads Skyrim's branch of our Order there, providing healing and justice as needed. He is the god of mercy, the patron of order and justice for all of Tamriel. We bring his compassion where none can be found, by cleansing all those who would offend his children. And any other abominations that prey on mortals? Vampires, werewolves, witches? But Daedra are the worst. Their callous disregard for our lives is abhorrent in the eyes of the god of mercy. None escape the Vigil. All come into the light. Wherever the Daedra hide, the Vigil of Stendhal will cast them into the light. Traveling in the Reach is dangerous. You need a good carriage. It's an old city. Legends say dwarves built it first. Then after they vanished, the natives moved in. Finally, the Nords took over around Tiber Septim's time. That bent a few folks' arms the wrong way. They just called themselves the people of the Reach. Not of common blood with the Bretons by the looks of them. 
used to have their own kingdom to the Nords came. Now they're at the bottom of the hay pile. That's right. At least according to them scholars. Stonework's clearly not Nord, that much is for sure. Old elven fella named Calcimo. Up in Understone Keeps, the one you want to talk to for more about that. Wrote all those books. That's right. Whole group of the natives called the Forsworn rose up against the Nords. Drove them out. Then old Frick Stormcloak came with his militia. That must have been a sight to see him shouting folks to death. You'd think that'd be the end of it. But those Forsworn are still in the hills. And they're as vile as wolves. Until next time. First time in Markarth, Traveler? Take my advice. You see anything, don't get involved. The city guard will take care of it. See? There you go, getting involved. Don't ask too many questions in Markarth. Safer for everyone that way. Head on in. Keep your nose clean, and you won't have any problems with us. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort, they're rifted. Might consider joining up. Someone there? We are oh, yeah. We're routed! Fall back! Unless it's all clear. I'd die for my people. The force are here in the city. Everyone stay back. The Markor city guard have this all under control. There are no force worn here. He was after Margaret. Why? Margaret. He... he killed her. Right in front of me. She's a traveler from the Imperial City. Came by every day looking for jewelry for her relatives back home. Why would anyone want to kill her? Doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry. I don't think I can bear to sell anything right now. What's Gods. happening to this city? A woman attacked right on the streets. Are you alright? Did you see what happened? I'm so sorry. I hope the aid give you more peace in the future. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. It's important. Hmm? Oh. I was just getting some fresh air. I had one too many pints of mead at the Silver Blood Inn. Just the market travel. We should get back to work. You there, if you're here to trade, step up to the counter. Lisbeth handles the customers. I just check the shipments. No, I'm not Arnleaf. Yes, I know it's called Arnleaf and Sons. I inherited the store from my husband. His father was Arnleaf. My husband, Gunnar, died about five years ago. For sworn attack. I miss that stubborn wolf. 
No, as if trade wasn't poor enough. Now there's violence in the streets. It was the Forsworn, wasn't it? I lose dozens of shipments every season to those barbarians. Now they're in the city? God help us. Oh, by the divines, is it that obvious? I swear, if my Gunnar was alive to see me now, this store would finally be on its feet if I hadn't lost my last shipment to the Forsworn attacks, especially made the Bella statuette. You aren't for hire, are you? A sellsword? I'll pay you if you can recover that statuette from the Forsworn. Thank you. I'll have a sum of gold waiting for you when you return. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Come back whenever you need something. 